Facebook Live, hey, it's Curry Russell. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am sitting here outside of the uh, Sheriff's Department. As you can see, there's a police car right there. There's a Sheriff's car. Uh, Sheriff's Department here in Conway, South Carolina. I'm getting ready to start my day. And I have 46 days left till my freedom begins and the hard work actually begins. I'm, I'm turning this on today because yesterday I made a video and at the end of it I was talking about not doing any Facebook lives for a while and I, I spent all yesterday struggling with, you know, do I give value to a community or do I just let them figure it out? Because I've had to. I've had to figure it out. Um, I didn't have the same leadership that other people have. I didn't have the <clears throat> people to follow until this last year. Um, I spent three years learning uh, to do much of the stuff that I do now. Three years. Um, I didn't know anything about Zooms three years ago. I didn't know anything about using social media to build attraction. I didn't know anything about uh, attraction marketing. I didn't know anything about lead generation. I didn't know anything about anything <clears throat> that it takes to build online. And the funny thing is, is most of you don't even need to build online. Like, I build online because I live in a town of 900 people. I travel for a living and I've never developed relationships in my region of the world in ever like I don't we don't go to church anywhere we don't have friends and family we don't have people we spend time with my world has been working like every single week I'm traveling to some other place not being around the same people not being in the same neighborhoods not working with the same people over and over and over again I don't go to work with the same co-workers. Nothing about my life is normal. And most people will never understand that ever. Most people can, it's just, it's a crazy life. So I learned to build online using Zooms, using other tools over a course of three years. I've told the story many times about how in my first year in network marketing, I only added eight people to my business. My second year, about 60, and my team wasn't growing. And then my third year, um, uh, quite a bit more. And this last year, obviously, hundreds. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 people personally enrolled in multiple businesses. Now, uh, that's not bragging by any means. My, my world changed, right? I mean, I, I learned to use skills. I learned to attract. I, I stopped pushing people away. I stopped posting about politics and religion. I stopped posting about my opinion and started giving real value to the marketplace. Some of y'all still posting about politics. I forgot that the president changed. I truly did. Like somebody said, man, I can't believe Trump's been in office for a year. And I'm like, what? How is that possible? I mean, it's 46 days till freedom. And when, when I say freedom, freedom just means that my career changes. It doesn't mean that I'm free. It means that literally I have to take my time and start managing it to build my teams bigger. It begins a whole new career choice. Life absolutely changes in 46 days. And we're going to start it off with a massive celebration. Massive celebration. My wife and I and a couple other people are going down to Punta Cana. Um, Scott DeVore and Deanne. And we're going to go celebrate my 40th birthday, freedom, success. And and then it's on. Then it's it's so, guys, it's on. I don't know what you got going on. I don't know if you even believe it's possible for you. I don't know if you think that it can happen for you. I have no clue what you think right now. But I know this. 
if I can do it, if a country boy from West Virginia living in the woods in a town of 900 people waiting to die can do it, you can. You can do it. All you, find a passion. It doesn't make a difference what you're building. It doesn't make a difference. Find something you're passionate about and go share it with people. Share it a lot. Share it till people hate you. Because that's what's happened. Like, people hate me. I mean, it's... I don't care. My family's getting fed. We're get, we, got, we got toys. We got food. We got life. We've had many, many life experiences. And people hate my guts. And that's, that's okay. It's okay. The opinions of others have never mattered to me at, at all. So, guys, you have to figure this out. Because... Your whole world could change when you find that pa that passion that you can't not share with somebody. When you can't not share it with somebody. All right, guys, listen. I'm going to drop off here because I've got to go to my J-O-B for one of my last trips ever. And uh, we will talk to you guys later. Have a good day.